still need light for hydroponics. I didn't even think about that. Shoot. I don't know why I was thinking that that was going to be different. I don't suppose standing lamps give any kind. Brightly enough to grow crops, but consumes a huge amount of power. We're going to need two of these for our whole area. One there. And one there. Which means I need to get out here and get a crap ton more steel. We're going to need some more power generation. I've got heat for them. But we don't have light. Alright, this is really the first time I've done a lot with hydroponics, so... I may have screwed him over the way I've been doing stuff, but we learned something! Isn't that what it's all about? I think it's about time we might have to start... Maybe, uh, doing some stuff with some dead bodies. Once, uh, can I move hydroponic? See, the problem is, yeah, I can't move a hydroponic basin. So that would have been a smart thing. I didn't realize they were going to need light as well. Otherwise, yeah, I would have built them all just right next to each other. And if we manage to get enough solar power to actually get all this stuff working, we can work on, like, ma uh, that's going to be a really bad placement of that. I just need lots of steel. Are you guys counting 60 degrees as cold? Gork, get the hell out of here. Don't you have bodies to butcher or something? Go, go do that. We'll never cooking. Never mind, I guess I've got to do that. Yeah, I can hear our stuff going out already. Which means all of our plants are gonna die. I done flubbed all this up. I think this colony's gonna be doomed. What a pain. I messed up bad. What the fluff.
solar panels. I know there's a roof over this one. I'm gonna remove the roof in a moment. All right, that's the last of the package survival meals. Let's turn the sunlights off until we have this situation dealt with. food poisoning because I made that food and it's probably really shitty and still not a single animal to be had all right these are probably gonna go bad soon so I guess I should get to butchering these ignores terrain oh so like a uh, sagrasso seas and fog and things like that store this. I guess we'll just store it right next to the stove. Oh! Really? And that was my last component! You dick. Randy, you dick. Of joy. Ah, now we had to eat raw cannibalism. <sighs> rip, rip, rip. This is why we can't have nice things. We just can't have nice things because of this. Let's find a thing of components. Or two. Oh, man. And here it looked like things were going so well for a moment there.
All right, so it looks like at the peak of the day, we get to about 1100 watts. So with all of these at the peak of the day, we should be getting up to 5000 watts, which will be more than enough to power everything we have and then some. Our biggest problem is going to come that we don't have batteries in addition to that. Please be food. That is not food. Oh, wait, it's agave. I thought it was psychoid at first. Ha ha, that is food. So no roof area over you, no roof over you, just to make sure. Let's put a roof over you, just in case it snows. really need a ship or something to come by please a ship something oh and it looks like at night so at night we're going to be having about 1500 watts which will be enough to power the hydroponics and the heater but it won't be enough for both lights and it won't be enough to also power all of our other things yeah let's get that joy everybody the kind of joy that only a gorp can bring Once these are done, we should be able to turn those lights back on, and then everything should, in theory, be back on track. Hydroponics, our stuff should start growing quickly. Oh, we need to rebuild some walls here. Actually, no, we don't. We don't even need these walls at all, now that I think about it. Do we? We can see all of this stuff. All right, so what can we do in light of that? Actually, the best thing we're going to be able to do is just to go ahead and make a different area. To dig out a new place for us to have our stuff. I hope this doesn't collapse. That would suck. That would suck. Probably a bit of an understatement, but... At what point... Okay, so let's see. Your power needed 175. Obviously, I'm not going to keep it this hot, but... Is it... It always just draws the same amount, regardless of the temperature? So they either seem to have high, which is 70... Or 175, or they have low, which is 20. So, it seems to me that there is absolutely no reason why we shouldn't keep this place at a very comfortable 80 degrees. Oh, it actually goes down to 18 watts when it's in standby. So let's figure out how much exactly we are drawing in terms of power here. So we've got 350 for this. Each of these are 70, and there's five of them, so that's another 350. We're up to 700. This draws 200, brings us up to 900. This is 940. And I think that's everything we have that's drawing power. When this is turned on, it will be drawing another 350. So that brings us up to, what, 990 plus 300. So it brings us up to 1290. One generator can generate 1290 by itself during the peak of the day. So, once these five are done, we should just be aces and be able to start expanding. Did I do my math wrong? I don't think so. I think 1290 is what we're looking at. Ooh, stealing components all together!